CP3, is he going to be a Hall of Famer? No question about it. Yeah. Right? No question about it. Do guys in the NBA go to sleep early the night before playing the Phoenix Suns? Hell no. No. You mean as a team or would you talk about Chris Paul individually? Chris Paul individually. Okay. No. I'm going to Stake 44 over there in Phoenix. I'm mm. going to have me a nice little wine, probably sweat it out. And uh, but the pregame shoot around and get ready for Chris Paul. Steph Curry, I'm going, I'm going to bed at 8 o'clock. Mom, don't call me. My girl, don't call me. I don't, I'm, I'm locked in right now. It's, not, it's, it's, it's two different monsters. That's all. Yeah, well, listen. He plays. I don't. So if you're going to tell me that he don't go up, he, he, you know, you ain't going to sleep early for Chris Paul, that's fine. But what I'm saying about Chris Paul is this, and this is what can't be ignored. Quint essential point guard, floor general, make others around you better, knowing everybody's job, knowing what everybody is supposed to do, and, be, and being that elite floor general, that's not, under, that's not deniable. Now, when, now, what I would say to Patrick Beverly and my little brother here is being a little bit disingenuous is this. It's a hell of a word. Let me say, well, you know, you understand that yeah. you're a highly intelligent brother. You <laughs> act like you don't know it. You know exactly what the hell it means. <laughs> the point that I'm trying to make to you about it is this. No. Why do you go to sleep early for Steph Curry? Because Steph Curry could drive 40 or 50 on right. you. That's why. See, you go to bed early for dudes that can embarrass you, that will literally wake up the next or go against you the next night and take you to school. So you get up to make sure they ain't going to do that to you. Most instances, that's not what Chris Paul is going to do. When Chris Paul was sensational and we were going ballistic in, in, because of what he was doing in game two, he had 28 points and 14 assists. That's not something you lose sleep over. That's a floor general that got a shot going, but he's still running the floor, running the team the way that you're supposed to do it. Where somebody like Steph Curry, you blink and he might drop 10 threes on you. You blink and he might drop 50 on you. That got Luka, for example. Luka with the 27 in the first half. Luka can drop 50 on you. Those are the dudes that you lose sleep over. Man, ain't nobody worried about Chris Paul when he played Phoenix Suns. Nobody in the NBA. Well, what did I just say, though? And I'm just letting you know how NBA players feel and I, think. I, I, I believe you, but what I'm saying he's is... He's finessed the game to a point where he's, he, he gets all the petty calls, all the swipe throughs at the end. I mean, this guy is out, man. We're going to be honest? We want to be really honest? Yes. He should have fouled out. He should have fouled out. The last game, too. You see the replay against Bronson. Hit him on the shoulder, hit him in the mouth. Ref don't call anything. If that's me, oh, review it. Oh, flagrant one. If that's him, they don't call it. So let's not get it twisted, man. He should have fouled out. He can't guard. He literally can't, he can't guard. He can't guard. Yeah. Did he, you, can't, he can't guard. Chris Paul can't guard anybody? Is that what you say? I, did you see that? No, he can't. Everyone knows uh, that. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. No, no, no. I don't know that. I haven't heard anybody know, tell me that. You, yeah, because you haven't suited up. You know, guys don't like to tell you all the truth. You know that. Because they scared. They scared. They scared what you're going to take. No, 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 no. Now, he's you know, right me, about that. They will, I, they will lie. Yeah, I don't he will, care. He's honest. I'm they will lie. The they that will is lie. true. He's not lying about man, that. Man, CP can't guard nobody, man. Everybody in the NBA know that. Everybody knows that. What we call them? Cone. You know what you do with cones? Like in the summertime, you got a cone. You make a move. What does the cone do? Stay still. Exactly. Yeah. He's a cone. Stop playing, man. I Everybody that right. knows that. Everyone knows that. It's just y'all don't want to accept it because no, I don't CP. accept that. I, I don't. Know. No, no, no. I'm saying again, if you're taller than them, you see, you can shoot over him. Obviously, that's but an issue. But give him the but, Ben Simmons but, slander. Give him the PG thirteen hold on, hold on, slander. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give him the hold slander hold on, that hold on, you give hold everybody. Hold on, hold on. Come first on, of all, first of all, watch yourself now. Come on watch now. Watch yourself now. now. Come on now. Don't compare CP three to Ben Simmons. No, no, I didn't compare. I said the slander. I said the slander. Ben Simmons didn't show up. I said the slander. Well, what's the slander? I'm gonna give you. If you show up, listen. You listen. You, I consider a guy that's an elite defender. You know how I feel the about you. The best in the world. Well, I, I wouldn't say the best in the world, but I, I get you. I got. I know that you're an elite defender. I'm giving you props no, for no, that, the, my brother. The best in we, the we, world. We've okay, well, you should feel that way about yourself. I no, don't the, feel the, that the way numbers. about you, but you should feel that way no, about yourself. ESPN gave me the numbers. That you're the best in the world? It's Giannis at 41.3%, and it's Patrick Bailey at 419 which means if you have the ball and Patrick Bailey is guarding, it feels like Giannis is guarding you. I'm only six feet. Yeah. What do you want me to do? Well, I did say the greatest that, in the Tom, world. Tama, I did say you were an elite defender. Be happy with oh, that. For no, me. I can't. Be happy with that okay. for the moment. Let's stay on top. For the Here moment. We go. For the moment. My point to you is uh -huh. this, though. Just because you're an elite defender, 
doesn't mean that CP3 gets to be discredited. When you look at CP3 and what he brings to the table, do you not believe he's an elite point guard? Well, go get someone who's not an elite defender and have him up here talking to you. Y'all got Patrick Beverly up here. I'm going to give you Patrick Beverly truth. I okay. can't give you the next man okay. truth. But you're comparing him to you. Who? I CP3. Don't, I don't I'm talking about defensive. Any. I'm saying defensively. The In other words, if you're sitting there saying that, sure. So I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt on that. But what I'm saying is most people don't defend like Patrick Beverly. Okay, so fine. because of that, I can look at him and in, in its totality, looking at the NBA and a body of individuals that play in the NBA with all of these dudes, like li literally asking them. It's like asking them to do. I don't even know what to come up with to ask them to play some defense. You're going to tell me that CP3 can't defend compared to most of the NBA? Okay. I beg to differ. And I think you do too when you compare him to most of the NBA. There's a whole bunch of cats in the NBA that can't defend No, when him. I compare him to top 10 greatest point guard okay, ever. Okay, all that's, right. I'm well, not that's, looking at that's different. Now you want that's me, a, that's now different. You, want you me said to take, the man can't no, defend. No, I'm not saying that. But now you want me to take what, what, what CP is and put him in a bottle with everyone else. I won't do that. Okay. I would not do that. Okay. I'm going to judge him based off exactly what you guys tell me that he is. He's a top five point guard. Some say arguably, some say it's not arguably. He's a top 10 point guard in all time. What would John Stockton do? John Stockton could defend. He was a rough rider. Okay. No doubt about I'm just, it. I'm just asking, he was a rough what would he do? But I think offensively, his skill set didn't compare to CP3. I offensively. agree. Offensively. But, but what would John Stockton do? He was a dog. Right, that's all I'm no saying. He was, he that's was all I'm There's saying. No question about. It. What but would John last, Stockton but, do? But listen, well, last night, well, listen, I love. I would have loved to have you here after Game Two, as opposed to after they just got blown but, out but in I've Game been, Seven. But I, I said this on the uh, the show when I was in L.A. Okay. NBA I, Today. I, I tweeted. I tweeted this after Game Two. This is a very interesting series. It's a very interesting series. Okay. If I'm the coach, and no discredit to Monty, hell of a coach. Hell of, hell of a coach. coach. Hell of a. No, coach. No, no, no. Wrong word. If it's a word better than hell, I don't know what. Like, a heaven of a coach. Mm -hmm. okay. you, you understand? Like, like, phenomenal coach. Good. I'm not playing CP. Not as much. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.